Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, y'all? So check it out, Gemini. This is your Spirit Monthly Message for August 2020. Yes. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the month of August of 2020, it does not have to absolutely resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this or any reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's get into your pre-shuffle, yes? Um, okay, so I'll, I'm going to start by saying I just did your love reading, and if you're new to me or you're not following on, on Patreon yet and you're interested in getting a monthly love session, check-in, blah, 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 which are also, those are all collective readings too, but... Go over patreon.com slash divine conversations. $7 a month gives you access to the love readings and basically everything that I do there, okay? Um, but in your love reading, there was some sort of energy of a relationship, a toxic codependent relationship coming to an end. Um, and I feel like that's kind of what we're talking about here. Now, this is, a this is a general reading. This is not meant to be a love reading, okay? So we could be talking about anything. But there is some sort of toxic and codependent situation within your life that, is on, that you are on the verge of breaking free from. Here's the tricky part, though. The first card that came out is the world, and it came out in reverse. And I swear to God, y'all, when this card came out, it was like dancing all over the table until it finally landed in reverse here. So, and then, and then with that, you have death and the wheel of fortune. So I feel like somebody here is in the process of putting something to rest. Some of you may actually, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Three of Swords, and you have that with the Seven of Pentacles, which did come out in your love reading also. And actually, the Three of Swords did make an appearance at one point. I didn't really know what it meant, and I didn't want to keep diving too deep into the situation, because it was at the bottom of the deck as well. Um... But we, with that, you also have Temperance Ooh, and the Ten of Swords, Gemini. Oh, God, and the Tower. <laughs> oh, my God, Gemini. Okay, so look. And this is, we ain't even gotten into the full spread yet. This is still just the pretty shuffle, honey. Okay, so um, you really learned a lot. Yeah, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. You really learned a lot here. You learned from this heartbreak, or at least you're in the process of learning from this heartbreak. Or for some of you, I feel like you're starting to wake up to this. You're like, I, I can't keep doing this over and over and over again. I can't approach this situation the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. It straight up just ain't gonna happen. Not with this person, not with this relationship, not with this job, not with this career, whatever, okay? Now, here could, here's what could really be holding some of y'all back. You have the Page of Cups with the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like this is a, a relationship. This could be a love relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be a business relationship. I just feel like someone is not keeping up their end of the bargain or is not really providing what it is they need to or is not really allowing things things to change and i feel like there's someone here that keeps keeps going into the situation with love and care and compassion i mean like i i feel like whoever is here with this page of cups energy is a really honorable and noble person because i feel like the person that they're dealing with or the situation that you're dealing with man is just narcissistic it's like no matter what you do, you can't win with this person or this situation. Somehow, some way, they always find some way to like bash you, turn things negative, fuck things up, um, anything like that, right? It's, this is not a team effort. This is not a team effort. So thus, it's time for you to go solo dolo. Or at least be independent enough to find a new business partner or something like that if this is business for you. Okay, now hold on because the Page of Cups could also represent lack of emotional maturity and this being the person that needs to get out of this relationship, wants to leave, has been trying to leave, you may not have, this may have been hold, what's holding you up. You may have not had the emotional responsibility or the emotional maturity to really let go of this situation. But I think that's changing now, Gemini. Okay. <clears throat> 
I really do think that's changing for you now. Woo! Five minutes in, honey. That was just the pre-shuffle. Mm. All right, cool. So oops, let me give this one more shuffle. <sighs> one more sheer, sheer, sheer. And then, oops. Oops. And then we'll get started. Okay. Hi, spirit. <laughs> Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, spirit. All right, Gemini, I'm going to give this five shuffles. And I really do want to say, I, I'm seeing green for you, Gemini. So I really feel like you're going through a heart chakra awakening or activation here. One, which is causing you to choose your heart's desire. Okay. This is two. For my Geminis, the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, this is three. Oh, yay, yay. This is four. Sorry, I'm looking over at my notebook that has... Shit, Gemini, sorry, this is four. Um, there we go. Has all my... Uh, I'm getting distracted. Has all of my titles for the readings for this month, and I was just looking at my, my handwriting like, ooh, that's cute. <laughs> this is five. Okay. Boop. All right, Gemini. Overall energy. Ooh. The Queen of Wands. So this actually does um, resonate with what I was seeing for you about like a heart chakra activation because it's putting you in direct alignment with what it is you truly want. It's giving you the opportunity to say, you know what? I don't want this anymore, actually. I want something new, and so I'm going to work on using the law of attraction. Work on my relationship. Ooh, working. I, I'm, I'm picking up on, like, working on your law of attraction skills. Because I do see the Queen of Wands as uh, the minor, no, the physical embodiment of the law of attraction, which is focusing on your feeling place, focusing on your alignment, and your alignment is directly related to your feelings. So if you're in alignment with something, it feels good. When you're not in alignment with something, or when something is not aligned in alignment with you, it's like, ugh, it's painful, it's it's toxic, it's dark, it's disgusting. I mean, why am I hearing that? But anyway, um, so in that case, what you need to do is then focus on what feels good to you and keep moving in that direction. Don't worry about ever feeling bad. Yeah, you're going to feel bad, but that's part of learning through the contrast at certain moments. So when something feels bad to you, you're like, all right, cool, that's not something I want. I'm gonna go even more in this direction, blah, 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 okay? That's what I feel like for you is happening right now, Gemini. Underneath, yeah, Gemini. Underneath the Queen of Wands is the Magician. Okay, Master Manifester, you absolutely are working on your Law of Attraction skills right now, aren't you? I like it. I like it, Gemini. Um, and it's interesting because what I'm picking up now is that somebody got a taste of freedom. Somebody got a taste of what true law of attraction, the true power of the law of attraction, or just true manifestation skills, strong manifestation skills. They got a taste of that, and now they want more. Maybe it's that you saw someone else doing it, and you're like, damn, damn. Yo, how he do that? How she do that? Right. But see, you can do that, too. And so now you're motivated. Ah, oh, shit. Yo, let me get my shit together, huh, son? Like, yo. Right? Right. Underneath the magician is the Ten of Wands. But underneath the Ten of Wands is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is that scout, that sentry, the, the one that goes out and searches, seeking opportunities, seeking information, seeking communication, seeking knowledge. So right now, <clears throat> your process, Gemini, is working on cutting away the burdens from your life so that you can, in fact, be directly in alignment. And you know, 
This, I love this combination of the Queen of Wands and the Magician in terms of speaking to directly learning how to manifest. Because the Queen of Wands is a fe feminine energy, is a feminine figure. Um, and I say the Law of Attraction is like the, the Queen of Wands, excuse me, is the physical embodiment of the Law of Attraction because the Queen of Wands is so damn confident in herself, man. She's so freaking beautiful. She's so in alignment with herself. She just sits back and allows things to come straight to her. But that's feminine energy. Okay. The Magician is masculine. Now, the Magician is major arcana, okay? The Queen of Wands is minor arcana. This is your, like, the Queen of Wands or minor arcana is, like, everyday life, everyday cycles, blah, blah, blah. The Magician are the larger overarching spiritual processes and lessons and, and stuff that we go through and we learn, okay, in our lifetime. So... <clears throat> Now, the, the, the magician is masculine because the magician is about taking action. The magician represents using your, your skills as a creator, as a divine creator, that's who we are, using your skills to create what, to manifest what it is you want, to manipulate the surroundings to manifest what it is what you want. Granted, the magician can get a really bad rap for his manipulative abilities or his manipulative tendencies, but if you're going to make something, if you're going to create something, you're going to have to manipulate it somehow, right? So we're not, we're not condoning people going out here and manipulating other people just for shits and giggles. No, but you have to manipulate the energy to get it to do what you want, right? Okay. So that's what makes the magician masculine because that type of energy or that type of process, that is masculine in energy. Taking the action, going and doing the thing, that's the masculine side. Remaining receptive and, allow, in a, and in alignment and allowing what it is you want or need to come to you, that's the feminine side. And everybody's got masculine and feminine energy within, okay? So this combination, in terms of talking about the law of attraction and manifestation, is quite perfect for you, Gemini, Queen of Wands, and the Magician, okay? Cool. Wow, that was a big old rant. <laughs> Sorry, but underneath with the, with the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck, this is definitely you learning and learning how what needs to be cut away, what, why, how, and who. Ooh. All right, Gemini, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, you have the Four of Cups again. But now this time, I kind of want to, I, I kind of want to say, is that you, Gemini? Are you like sitting here moping and like, nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Four of Cups is coupled with. No. Oh, the Tower. Okay, no, no. Okay, wait. Some of you might be the ones that are saying, I can't do this, I can't do this. But others, look, this, it, ooh, in terms of some sort of like relationship, whether it's love or family or maybe like a business partnership or a creative partnership, whatever. The person that is like sitting here, not really changing, not really doing anything, not keeping up their end of the bargain. In, in, and quite frankly, I heard they're in some sort of lack mentality and that's kind of why they act this way. But okay, that's fine. That's not your problem, Gemini. But they might, they, they about to get their asses hurt, served to them when this tower strikes and you're like, no more, I'm done with this shit. We're not doing this any longer. Yikes. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. It's the Four of Swords. Rest, relax, take I just heard take a vacation, um, take some time out to yourself, align with what it is you truly want, work on mentally, masterfully using your, your, your mind in order to help guide you to whatever it is you want. If you daydream a lot, um, those daydreams often are giving you examples of what it is you could do, where it is you want to go, what it is you want to experience, that kind of thing. Pay attention to your daydreams, especially if you... I've, Especially if you've been working a lot lately. Like if you've been like super workaholic, maybe because you just have a lot of work coming up to do, or maybe because you're trying to drown yourself in work because you don't want to deal with this toxic situation, or maybe this is a business partner who isn't keeping up his, end of, his or her end of the bargain and now you've got extra work to do, whatever the circumstance may be. When you're doing that and you're zoning out and you're just having like these daydreams or these fantasies or blah, 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 Pay attention to those, because those are clues. That's guidance from like your higher self, from source, God, creator, blah, 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 whatever, the universe. And pay attention to how that feels, okay? 
pay attention to how those daydreams feel. If you're if you're going off on these daydreams while you're working, blah, 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 doing whatever, and all of a sudden you start thinking about something that's like, oh God, I don't want that. Oh no, that's terrible. Good. Move away from that. Okay. Instead, work. Uh, instead, allow yourself to daydream. And when you land on something that feels great, that you're like, damn, I really wish I, that would happen. Focus there. Yes. That's using your mind as the tool that one of the tools, because you see the magician has a wand, the ace of wands, the ace of pentacles, the ace of cups and the ace of swords. Right. So that would be using the ace of, of swords, your mind. Four of swords is coupled with the seven of pentacles. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, some of you need to rest and reflect on this. You need to really rest and reflect on what's been going on. What is this fruit that you're bearing? I'm really, I'm really getting, I'm really feeling like I want to tell some of you to just take a vacation, uh, go, uh, 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 take a day off or something, maybe a weekend off if you can or something and really sit down or sit with yourself and think about what it is you've been experiencing lately. Whatever this harvest has been or is for you right now, Gemini, with the Seven of Pentacles. And think think lar long and hard about it is what I want to say. Like, <clears throat> really focus on the future and what it is you really truly want to be harvesting rather than what you have in front of you right now. And make your decisions from there. Cut away from there. Cut down the brush or just cut down the plant altogether from there, right? I mean, we do have a tower moment. And quite honestly, Gemini, I really feel like this tower moment coupled with the four of cups is the universe saying to you, put if if you're a, if you have a partnership in some way in which someone is just like not responding or not keeping up their end of the bargain, they re they keep saying that quite often. Not keeping up their end of the bargain, then you need to just throw it away. I guess, okay, I have an example. Um, I was married. If, for those of you that are new to me, you don't know. I am divorced. I've been divorced for two years now. Um, ooh. Yes, yes, it was 2018. Okay, so um, part, of, part of the what really broke me towards the end of that relationship was we were dealing with some things and, um, you know, he had said to me that he wanted, he needed a certain thing. We needed to handle something a certain way. And I was like, all right, babe, you know what? I got it. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And I, I did what I needed to do. I got what I needed to get so we could handle this thing in a certain way. And we did it once. And then all of a sudden he turned around and switched back up and went back to the old way. And I'm like, and I mean, like we literally, we literally followed through with this once you guys. And after that first time he switched it up and went right back to where we were. And I'm sitting here like, like literally losing my mind, literally, like literally losing my mind because you just made this whole big stink about how you need X, Y, and Z from me. And so I say to you, I got you, babe, don't worry about it. And I go out to do it and we do it. And now all of a sudden you want to go back to the way it was. What the fuck was that hissy fit you just threw five minutes ago? That kind of energy. Bye, Felicia. Your challenge, Gemini, in the first half of your reading is the Nine of Wands. All right, perseverance is key. You come this far, Gemini, don't give up now. Don't give up now. I know you're battered and bruised. Okay, I get that, but don't give up now. Work for it. Work for it, and you will be paid off. It will, you, it, you will, it, it will pay off. Nine of Wands is coupled with whew, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, look, look, look. Some of y'all are really going to have to have some serious conversations with someone because I think there's someone out there that just doesn't get it. This may be an ex of yours that just keeps coming back around. But see, you allow them to come back around. You allow them to play this game with you, Gemini. If we're talking about an ex here. If we're not talking about an ex, then I think we're talking about maybe this business partner or this family member or this friend or whatever, this, this work relationship, something like that. Whatever it is, you're allowing it to happen by not standing your ground and saying, no, no, we're doing it this way. This is how it is. You may get forceful and you may tell them this is how it is at one point, but then you turn around and don't enforce it. So then they think they can just come up in here, run up in here, do whatever it is they want. Oh, homie, so, ex, uh, 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 so and so is saying this again. <laughs> Let's see how long that lasts, right? 
No, you can't do that. You're enabling them. You're allowing this to happen. So at some point, somebody has got to put their foot down and say, nope, that's it. We're done. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading. Well, would you look at that? That ace of swords we were talking about. Oh, but this is truth. Some, ooh, that is truth and honesty and communicating that truth. Okay, Gemini. Shit. Okay, Ace of Swords is coupled with... Ho! The King of Swords. <laughs> because we see this clearly now, is what I just heard. I just, I also just heard the judgment has been made. Um, and the King of Swords can represent like the, the judge and or the jury. Like I, I keep hearing the judge and the jury. Okay. Because the King of Swords is the judge, but he's also the jury in the sense that he's doling out the, or he's deciding on the sentence. Okay. Normally, normally, um, well, y'all get it. But now also, also, for some of you, the King of Swords with the Ace of Swords is you intensely watching for the truth. You are have every intention. <coughs> you have every intention of seeing something clearly as it truly is. So I might I feel like some of you are really investigating right now. Some of you might be investigating a new partner, okay. But also I I really think if there is a new partner around or a new potential mate around, you might be comparing the two. You might be comparing the old person either that you're still with or you're still working with or something with the new potential person that you may want to team up with, join forces with. And you're watching how the two of them act independent of each other. They probably don't know of each other, but you're watching them. Okay, this one's doing this. Yeah, no, that's typical. What's this one doing? Whoa, the exact opposite? Holy shit. Okay, let me watch a little closer. You know? <laughs> all right gemini i see you boo okay so there you have it thank you so much for tuning in i'm going to take this over to patreon now where we're going to do your spirit Mo monthly messages part two part death yell um if you're not following me on patreon go ahead and check me out patreon.com slash divine conversations five dollars a month you get all of the Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2. $7 a month, you get everything. Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2. Love readings, uh, after-hour sessions, which are really fun. Uh, Oracle readings, maybe some Twin Flame beauty videos, if I do those specifically. So go ahead and check me out there. And if I don't see you there, then I still love you. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you. And I hope this was helpful for you. And with that said, I hope you have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah, cool. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>